Hello everyone, this is Deborah Smith coming to you uh, with my Food for Thought. Uh, I will be uploading my Food for Thought now on Mondays. I used to do them on Wednesdays, but uh, it will be Monday when you see this. And uh, I've already previously filmed two other videos, so if you see me in the same outfit, I just did a few of them while I was uh, dressed and had some time. Uh, my food for thought today, I usually do a, a quote, but today I will be doing a word. And the word for my food for thought today is focus. Uh, my pastor had uh, brought a message last Sunday and he was talking about focus. And I began to think about focus, how we focus on so many things of today that's negative because believe it and you know as I do watching the news or what have you is so much negativity out there so you know sometimes we are, tend to put too much focus on the negative and not the positive and you know what we need to do is try to focus on what's good in the world and not what's bad because if we keep too much focus on what's negative and what's going on today it would have us totally down and depressed and even in our own lives and our own homes or what have you uh you know we got to look to god and keep our focus mainly on him because he said cast your cares on him for he cares for us and if we cast our cares on him truly and keep our focus on him then all this other stuff, you know, it won't bother us that's going going on around us. That's the problem. A lot of times we keep our focus on the wrong things and then we stay uh in 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 dilemma and we stay in uh stressed out and just frustrated because our focus is not on the Lord. It's not on what's positive and you know the things that is going good in our life or that's going good in this world this is what we need to focus on you know uh that we keep our eyes on him on the lord and uh it was a it was a poem that they shared in our programs that we have at church on sunday they always put a poem in here and a health tip and i get to the health tip after i'm through with this but the poem was talking about focus and it asked the question where is your focus and and it says a lady went to the pastor of her church and said i won't be attending church anymore he said may i ask why she said i see people on their cell phones the service some are gossiping some just aren't living right some are sleeping some are staring at me they are all just hypocrites then the pastors was silent for a minute then he said can i ask you to do something for me before you make your final decision uh the lady said yes sure what is it he said take a glass of water and walk around the church two times and don't let any water fall out the glass she said yes i can do that she went and got the glass of water around the church two times she came back and she said proudly, it's done. The pastor asked her these questions. Did you see anybody on the phone? Did you see anybody gossiping? Was anybody living wrong? Did you see any, anyone sleeping? She said, I didn't see anything because I was so focused on the glass so that the water wouldn't spill out. He told her, when you come to church, you should be so that you don't fall. That's why Jesus said, follow me. He did not say follow people. Don't let your relationship with how others relate with God. Let it be determined by God. And this was taken from a Facebook post by Pastor Keon Henderson. Added in our, in our program uh last sunday and i thought this was so great you know how he told her you know he gave her that example about carrying that glass of water around church 
she didn't have time to look at anyone because she was focusing so focused on that full glass of water that she filled it so all her concentration was on that water she saw nothing then and you know he let her know this is the way you're supposed to be in church and a lot of people come to church or they let it hinder them from coming to church because they so focus on maybe what the pastor might be doing or is he living right or what the members might be doing that that they forget about the whole purpose of staying focused in churches to get something and to receive something from god it's not about what people are doing in church or even not even the pastor god said take up your cross and follow me he didn't say follow people he didn't say look at people and see what they're doing and see that's our whole problem today we're so focused on everybody else uh my former pastor that's deceased now he used to always bring a message about uh take time to tend to your own business and stay out of other people's business because we always so focused on what someone else is doing our life is out of order it's it's all in chaos because we too busy worrying about what's going on with other people what's going on in the world instead of being focused on how we can be happy uh uh looking at the the blessed things in our life and the blessed things that's in the world look at the positive and 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 you know try to keep your focus on the positive and stay away from faith away from the negative focus on the good things that's my food for thought today stay focused on the good things the positive things and your life uh let people take care of their self when you in church focus on what the word is saying and let it convict you and help you don't worry about what the next person might be doing beside you or behind you or even in front of you look to god that was my food for thought today please stay focused i hope you all enjoyed this like i said we always have a health tip on the back of our program as well and the health tip for last week was uh sunflower seeds that sunflower seeds are a gift of the beautiful sunflower and they are packed with nutrition uh sunflower seeds lowers cholesterol calms the nerves uh detoxify uh anti-cancerous uh naturally curves appetite is high in vitamin e vitamin b1 b6 b3 copper uh magnesium and fiber and god said behold i give you every herb bearing seeds which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which it is the fruit of the tree to you it shall be for me genesis 1 and 26 so i like that they always give good uh health tips on the back of the program every sunday to let you know uh what's good for you what uh interacts and and counsels out uh illness and stuff this is a, a very positive thing but i really wanted to share that that uh poem with you and talk to you about focus because like i said with all the stuff going on in the world today we have to stay focused on the positive in our own lives and trying to make everything so this is deborah smith saying be blessed stay focused and i'll see you in my next video